What's up guys? Welcome back. All right, so today we're gonna test see how many tires it takes to stop a bullet. We have eight tires here. Is it eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry. I'm gonna shoot it with the Walter P22. This is a 22 long rifle. And we're gonna see how many of these it takes to, how many it takes to stop a 22 long rifle first. Okay, so this is gonna be really hard to see where I shot it. Why did it go all the way to the left? My, aim, my aiming wasn't really that good. So there's one right over there, the second one on the bottom. You guys are just gonna have to trust me when I tell you it went through I don't know if you guys can see it, it's really bright here, I, don't, I can't see the screen. But it came out right over there. Alright, looks like it came out of the first one. Second one looks like it went in, or I'm not sure if it actually completely went in or not. Well, let me see. Yeah, it kind of came out of this one. And the bullet was on the board here. On the, right there. And that's the 22 long rifle, so it only went through one. Okay, so that kind of tells us what's gonna happen to the nine millimeter a little bit. Just buddy, what do you think? How many is it gonna go through? Three? Your guess is three? I kind of feel like three or four too. All right, so we're guessing three to four. And remember, there's a lot of uh, wire metals uh, and also uh, hard uh, rubber. So these things, just because they're tires, doesn't mean it's all plastic will go right through it. There's a lot of uh, metal wiring involved to make these uh, tires. Okay, let's go to nine millimeter. All right, so I'm gonna shoot it with the Glock 19. And we're gonna do the full metal jackets. These are 115 grain, nine millimeter. Oh, there's a bullet right there. I saw it bounce. Well, this is the first time ever I think I saw a bullet. Usually I don't see him. It bounced right back in the dirt. I don't know if the camera is going to show it later on. Maybe some dust, uh, but that's just jumped right out. Where did it come out from? I'm not sure. I'll just put it here for now. Let's go through the first one. So it looks like went in right over here in the center. So in and out of the first one. Came out of the second one. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay, so one of the bullets. All right, so one of the bullets, I guess, is right over here. Uh, went past two, and the third one, it fell inside. It was right over here. Okay, so the other nine millimeter stopped on the fourth one. I see it entering. I see the entry on the fourth one, but it stopped somewhere inside the uh, fourth, and it bounced. What is the entry? Mm, right over here, I see it. Because there's one, the third one, you can see it over here coming in. And it looks like it lines up exactly uh -huh. with this one. So that's the fourth, and it did not go out of the fourth. So it took three to four tires to stop a nine millimeter. And oh, of course, the bullet, where'd it go? Here's the other one. And we have both of them. This has never happened, I think, where we find two bullets. Okay, so let's move on to the 762 by 39 and that's where we're gonna stop. All right, let me get that. Now we're gonna do the 762 by 39 out of an AK-47. What do you guys think? So our guess was right on the three and four uh, when we guessed it ourselves here. What do you guys think is gonna happen to this one? Just Betty, what do you think? Four? I'm thinking it's gonna be like six. All right, here we go. Clear. Okay, so in, out. The hole is a little bit larger, in and out of the second one. Third one, in and out. Fourth one, in and out. And the reason this one's a little bit easier to tell because the holes are a little bit larger. So four, okay, none of them went inside the fifth. They stopped on the fourth. Then this is the top part here. Get a little closer. That's where it came out from, right over there. 
and it kind of uh, shifted upward. Not sure why I did that. Again, it was uh, redirected, curved off towards the top because of all the wiring. And you can kind of see all the metal wires in there. It's kind of super sharp. You see that? Right there. So it's got all these, uh, oh, there it is. This is one piece of metal. I'm not sure a lot of you guys knew that or not, but the tire has uh, wires inside of it and that's what makes it really strong. That's why you never want to run over a tire in the middle of the road. If you're barely getting your driver's license, you never ran over a tire. Don't think that, oh, it's, you know, my car is so big, that's just a small piece of rubber. Even a small, tiny piece of uh, plastic uh, or a uh, tire piece from one of those semi trucks can ruin your whole car and uh, your bumper, it'll just scrape your whole bumper off. So never run over a, a tire piece from a semi trucks and all those guys, okay? That's a tire 101. So, it looks like they stopped on the both bullets from the 762, the AK-47, they stopped on the fourth one. They all stopped on the fourth one. Well, especially the nine millimeter. Ah. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Here we go, let's go. No tire playing for you.